All right, y'all, so here we go. We're trying to use some leverage. Um, got impacts, those aren't working. Got the torch out. So, oh, uh, you got it? I think. Brother, man, if you got it, bro, this is crazy. So we used leverage. We had to take the rotor off and all that kind of stuff. So we're about to see if that's, that's it. Careful. I think that's it, bro. I think he got it. So if that's the case, wow. All right, y'all, I'm about to cut you off. Cause... Wait, wait, wait. If that's the case, <laughs> I need a lot. About 300 of y'all to go subscribe to my channel. Yeah, go ahead. Go to Dash's <laughs> channel, man, right now. Pause the video. Go to Dash's uh, <laughs> channel because... schoolers it's your boy rob and today we are in the shop um we are gonna try to attempt to get these control arms off of this impala right now we got to lift it up in the air um to see if we can break these nuts loose um dash is here this is the same day uh this is the same day as the junkyard video that we struck out struck out with the zl12 um, wasn't no the other one at the dealership. They lied to us, but it's all good. Um, you know, it's not like we're buying a Z01 today. Anyway, I just wanted to set eyes on it. But anyways, man, we're going to go ahead and try to install these control arms. Um, I mean, this is like attempt 15. <laughs> but I mean, I got I got some some type of direction. Shout out to OTG. Appreciate you, bro, for the direction. Hopefully that direction, that guidance helps me. Um because I really want to get this done. These parts have been in the back of my car since probably about two years. I probably had the control arms for about two years. Um, and if not, man, we're resulting to cutting it off. So um, yeah, I'll show you, I'll flip this camera around and I'll show y'all what we got. And hopefully we got some type of progress today. Oh yeah, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. Shout out to the winner. Um, excuse me, of the Flowmaster 44s, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got drawing today? Nah, it's gonna be tomorrow. It's <laughs> gonna be tomorrow. tomorrow. But this this video, this video is obviously, you know what I'm saying, pre-recorded, so I'm saying shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying, because by the time y'all see this video, you know what I'm saying, somebody will already have been, or would have already won the drawing. So anyways, man, we're gonna, we gonna try to get this thing together. Um, I really don't want to pull the wheel off and pull the brakes off and do all that stuff. Um, that might be the result. Um, if that doesn't work, then we're going to go ahead and have to cut them out. Because uh, these things are coming out. Like, I'm done with it. I want to start deleting parts out of my, you know what I'm saying, collection of parts. So, even if we got to use, like, some type of leverage. You have a five point? Uh, let me go ahead. Not, not, no, not like that. I don't. But yeah, let me go ahead and help Dash out, man. Um, I just wanted to cut y'all on real quick because this is what we got going on today. So let's get it. Let's get to it. All right, y'all. So here we go. We're trying to use some leverage. Um, got impacts. Those aren't working. Got the torch out. So, oh, you got it? I think. Brother, man, if you got it, bro, this is crazy. So we used leverage. We had to take the rotor off and all that kind of stuff. So we're about to see if that's, that's it. Careful. I think that's it, bro. I think he got it. So if that's the case, wow. All right, y'all, I'm about to cut you off. Cause... Wait, 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 if that's the case, <laughs> I need a lot, I need about 300 y'all to go subscribe to my channel. Yeah, go ahead, <laughs> go to Dash's channel, man, right now. Pause the video, go to Dash's uh, <laughs> channel because, man, I've been fighting for th with this thing for two years. I got the torch out over there, impacts right here. I've been fighting with this thing forever, y'all. So if that's the case, we got it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break these uh, control arms out of here. Um, and we'll get this one out, and then we'll go to the other side and get the other one out and... Man, that's all I need to do is call Dash, man. That that's, right there, that's what you need. Oh, man. See, that's what you need. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm gonna send you my bill. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dash, because, hey, I've been fighting with this thing, like I said, for two years, y'all. There's a video of me trying to do this, and it's like two years ago. So, shout out to Dash, man. Oh, man, thank you, brother, man. So, we about to get this one out, and then we'll get to the other side, and then, uh, Y'all have no idea how excited I am. I'm about to cut this camera off because I'm excited as hell. A little bit, but... It's all good. Yeah, we had the result in cutting the bolt off because it won't come out. We done put the heat on it and everything, and it's not coming out. So I got the bolt in the front on both sides, and then I got this one, um, the nut off of the one back here. Um, so we just got to get these bolts out. And then once we get the bolts out, we can go ahead and throw the new two A ones on there. So Dad's just cutting it off right now. Once we're done cutting it off, um, we'll go ahead and drop them control arms out and trash them because they've been a nightmare for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and measure them first, and then after that, um, you know, we'll uh, move on. But yeah, as you can see, we got the cut off wheel. And then we are cutting that bolt off. Hopefully we don't have to cut the other side out, but we, we won't know that until, um, cause the head of the bolt will be harder to cut. We won't know that until we're done though. So we're getting to it. Yeah, this is crazy. So he's trying to cut the head of the bolt off. And so pretty much what happened was the bearing or the, the little uh, metal piece that goes inside the rubber in the control arm, the bolt is seized in, and that's the reason why I couldn't spin the, the bolt out. And hopefully y'all can hear me. I'll show you what I mean in a minute, but that thing is not moving. I mean, the bolt moves, it's twisting now, but it won't come out because that little metal bearing in the middle is not allowing it to. So we've resulted in trying to cut the, the bolt out and hopefully we're successful because this is this is upsetting. And you think it's too late to put any seats on here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think it's close. We done uh, chopped it up. Pretty much threw everything but the kitchen sink at it. A couple more hits and it's out of there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a little too late to put any C's on there. <laughs> <laughs> How you feel getting it out, though? <laughs> oh, man, I feel, I feel vindicated. We still got one side to go, though. All oh, right, it's, it's, it's time for me to uh, call it a wow, day. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a wrap today, but... I'm going to leave the cutoff wheel here. <laughs> yo, working on cars, one bolt. One bolt. What we start about? 11.30, maybe? What time is it? It's like 3.30. One bolt, y'all. Like, I told y'all I wasn't crazy. I was not crazy for not being able to get this out. I thought he was. I thought he just didn't know what he was doing, to be we, honest. We've been cutting at this thing forever. <laughs> so we cut the outside, cut the head off, still didn't do it. Then we had to pretty much cut inside between the mounting bracket. And here, we had to cut between there. And it just came out. One bolt. <laughs> One bolt, y'all. One bolt. That's insane. I don't even think I even want to put the other one in right now. Yeah, I called today. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just push all this under the car, dude, and I'm done. Fuck this. All right, y'all. Uh, <clears throat> so we got the QA1 up against the regular one. We're going to measure the center of the holes on the QA1 and the center of the holes on the regular one um, to, like, determine how much longer the lower one is. And that should give me the length that I need to adjust this uh, one up top. I'm not gonna adjust it today or in this video or whatever, I'll do it at a later date. I don't think it's gonna like kill my pinion angle um, or nothing like that. But in due time or in the meantime, in between time, eventually those will need to be adjusted, but I'm not gonna do it today. Cause man, uh, this thing, literally took all day to get out yesterday this is the next day um and i'm hoping that the other side doesn't does not give us that much of a fight um but you know i'm about to just throw this one back in 
throw all the rest of this together, move to the other side. Hopefully we get the other side out really quickly because this shouldn't have took that long, man. Two bolts should have came out super easy and it should have been done quickly, but it is what it is. I'm about to go ahead and grease my fittings, um, measure, grease, and then I'll throw it in there. So, but yeah, man, hopefully it doesn't take me that long because I'm tired of messing with this thing. Like I said, it's been two years, man. And uh, Dash and I were over here all day yesterday trying to cut one bolt out. Um, it would have been easier if I would have had a jigsaw, but I don't have one. We just got that cutoff wheel, but it's it's good. It's all good, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it all together. Um, the bolts on the other side are already loose. I just hope that they come out. That was the problem. The problem was this bolt is completely seized in there. And I know everybody's gonna say use heat, uh, use, um, yeah, use heat, use penetrating oil. Trust me, we tried all of that. This thing is rock solid in there. It's not moving. It's like corroded in there. It's like one piece. So, but hopefully we don't have that problem today. And we can get that one out and then all this will be done. All right, y'all. I'm thoroughly disappointed <clears throat> in QA1 for this oversight, man. Um, Sorry for the noise, the trash truck here. So please excuse the noise. I'm thoroughly disappointed in QA1, man. And I really hope that the ones that I have fit this car, because I haven't installed the lower control arms or the control arms in the back for the El Camino yet. So those are not done, but come on QA1, come on, come on, come on, come on. This bolt is supposed to go into the control arm, right? Cool. That one works. It's good back there. It's good up here on this top one. You know what I'm saying? And there's grease in there, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, no season up. But anyways, then I get to this one, no go. Doesn't go in there at all. Not at all. The bolt, is, the bolt is technically the same size as the bushing that's in it. So, unfortunately, I bought these like two years ago. So, I mean, you know, like I could have go back and forth, go to Summit and say, yo, like I need somebody to send me out some different ones because this one doesn't work. Um, I mean, I could get a bushing kit just to replace this particular bushing. Um, but <laughs> I really hope that the ones that I have for the G body work, they probably don't, they're probably different. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they're different, but I mean, hopefully the bushing, I could use the bushing. I could just order some new bushings and put it in the other one. But right now I'm not trying to wait until next week because it's going to be really cold next week. I'm trying to finish this today. This is the dilemma, y'all, working on cars, y'all, all the time. This back bolt gave us hell yesterday. Just one bolt, one bolt took us hours to get out. Then, you know what I'm saying? I'm happy, I'm ready to go, whatever, whatever. I'm ready to throw these things in and get it done. And come on, QA1. Come on, man. Like, I speak highly about y'all, y'all's products. I love y'all's products, but come on, man. That's that's a no go. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Anyways, man, I'm gonna try to figure this out real quick. Hopefully, I can find a solution right now, this very second. If not, I mean, I guess I'm gonna just have to order a bushing kit and you know what I'm saying, spend extra money to press in a a, a, a bushing. Cause, come on, QA1, this is crazy. All right, y'all, y'all have no idea how challenging I was, man. It really took so much patience just to get this thing off, dude. Uh, I finally got it off, though. I had to cut it up in pieces. This is part of the control arm. This is the head of the bolt, or the, no, this is the, the nut piece of the bolt. This came off really easy. I just went ahead and cut it up in there, and I started hammering it, and it popped right off. Um, I had a challenging time cutting the head of the bolt off. That was very challenging. I've been out here all day, again, trying to get one bolt out, y'all. 
So I ended up cutting the control arm off and that's where it landed after I hammered it off. But I ended up cutting the control arm off of the uh, the bushing so that I could get better access to um, the head of the bolt and I just hammered the shit out of it with my big hammer, man. And it finally popped out of there, so. Oh man, y'all have no idea how challenging that was. I wish it was just so simple. You know, a 30 minute job, hour job, whatever it would have been, turned into two days worth of work, man, for two bolts, two of them. The ones in the frame um, aren't that bad. Uh, they weren't bad at all, actually. I got this bolt out really quick. This one, um, you know, I kind of learned from what Dash and I did yesterday. Um, I took a different approach. So I got it out a little quicker, but it still is not, it's not fun, man. This is not fun. If you work on cars, you know, one bolt can turn into a nightmare. Two bolts turn into two days worth of work. I should have been done with this, but it is what it is, man. I threw some primer on it just cause you know, there are some bare metal spots for me kind of nicking the, uh, the rear end a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray some paint on it. This rear end will probably one day come out of here and then I'll like repaint it and do everything that I gotta do to it. But for now, man, I'm not touching it. I'm done. I'm over it. I'm about to throw this control arm in and then um, I'm gonna just hang it in there um, at the top of the frame. I'm gonna just throw a bolt through there and throw the nut on there. I'm not gonna tighten it down or nothing um, because they gotta send me the other bushing. Uh, but I do want to uh, show you guys what it looks like. Oh, it stands out. I won't be able to drive it or nothing, but I want to show y'all what it looks like with the wheels pushed back and with it all stanced out because I got to adjust the control arms and stuff. I mean, the uh, coilovers and stuff too. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and throw this control arm in here. I'm going to paint this first. Then I'll throw the control arm in there and tighten up this back one. Just throw a bolt in through the front and then I'll clean all this up, load the car down, and we'll see what she look like. Alright y'all, there we go. Finally, rear end is centered. So for everybody that I've been saying for the longest center my rear end, I promise you I tried. Finally just started trying to get it together and knock it out. And now it's centered. So, uh, you know, it looked good. I still have some work to do. Um, I gotta wait for that bushing to come for the uh, QA1 on the other side and then once that one comes because the other control arm is not like hooked up yet um, I just threw a bolt through it just to hold it in place but it's not tightened down and torqued down or nothing like that so um, <clears throat> I gotta still do that uh, we're gonna see about this pinion angle thing um, I'll probably adjust to the other control arms for sure at the top but you know saying that would be at a later date too because uh, man, I'm beat. Two days, two bolts. That's crazy to me. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to tell on this side, obviously. But, you know what I mean? Um, we should... I got to figure out how to move the axle over, too. Because I think this has more clearance on this side than this side. Yeah, for sure it does. Um, but, yeah, man. Finally, none of that goofy wheel up and up tucked up under the, the door and all that kind of stuff. Um, and actually, the car looks level now. I mean, um, maybe we got a, um, I don't know if I'm gonna still adjust the coilovers just yet. It still, it looks kind of level, um, but we'll see, man, we'll see. Definitely gonna get bigger wheels. Uh, so that's the reason why, you know what I'm saying? I wanted everything to be solid. Uh, I still I have my coilovers in the box over there. I got my sway bars over there. Um, I'm just going to wait on getting my tubulars up front. And then both cars, that car and this car, will both be full uh, QA1 suspension. Everything. Uh, control arms, upper and lowers, uh, coilovers, everything. The whole nine. So, yeah, man. Getting the suspension right. Got the brakes right on both cars already. Well... The, the Elko still needs dish in the back, but you know what I'm saying? The front brakes are solid. Uh, brakes right on both cars. Uh, this one, now that this is done, um, I'm gonna work on reliability and then 
I would, once I get my uh, tubulars for the upper and the lower control arms for the front, I'll go ahead and throw those on too. And then, yeah, man, we gonna be solid in this thing. Uh, I, I'm thinking about ordering the uh, Summit Racing um, cat back exhaust system for this thing, instead of just taking it to the exhaust shop. I mean, you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh, I might, it just depends, you know, we'll see what they're talking about as far as price to do, you know what I'm saying, all the piping all the way back and then adjusting my mufflers how I want them. Uh, they'll probably talk something crazy like a thousand dollars or something stupid. So I don't know if I'll do that, but um, I thought about the pipes, but the pipes um, comes with the mufflers already installed and I don't want that um, because I have my Spintex. So we'll see what happens, man. Um, worst comes to worst, we'll go ahead and go with the Summit uh, system. And yeah, and shout out to OCG, man. I definitely appreciate you, bro. You always giving me the game on, you know what I'm saying, what I need to do with my cars, bro. And I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for your help on this. Um, it wasn't necessarily, it wasn't user error on my part. It was just those bolts were seized up in there. You know what I mean? It should have been a lot easier, but... You know, we got it together. We got it taken care of. Um, go over to OTG Mechanics uh, YouTube and subscribe to his channel, man. He did a comprehensive video on how to install these QA1s. I'm not doing a comprehensive video, man. I was just trying to get it done, knock it out so that my car would be good too. And two days, man, two bolts. That's crazy. But anyways, it is what it is. We all torqued down. Everything is all solid now. Um, I can't wait to drive the car. We're leaking oil really bad from the front seal, I think, or the timing cover seal, and the transmission is leaking too from the rear main, I think, or the rear seal or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, man. I ain't, it is what it is, but we'll have to figure all that out um, and get it all done. So, yeah, man, that's the wrap. Hey, grind schoolers, man, that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Uh, like I said, man, two boats took us two days. Uh, shout out to Dash for coming through and helping me out with the first one and getting it started and helping me be motivated to get that out of there because without him coming through and helping me out, I probably wouldn't have proceeded. I would have just threw my hands up and been done with it. Again, like I said, it's taken me two years to get this thing done. Um, us getting the first one out motivated me to do the other one. Got the other one out today. Ran into the dilemma with QA1, and now I gotta wait for a bushing for uh, that other control arm. And then once I do that, I could just um, go ahead and cinch that one down, uh, torque it down, and we'll be good to go. And then we'll see about this pinion angle thing. Um, I don't know if I gotta adjust it or not. Uh, I guess we'll see. Worst comes to worst. Um, but yeah, man, and we'll see how it rides and everything like that. <clears throat> it should be all good. Like I said, no more goofy looking up under, tucked up under the door, wheel off center type stuff. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. We solid. And then um, we'll see if I got to adjust the coilover and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, shout out to Dash. Shout out to OTG. I definitely appreciate y'all, bro, for, you know what I'm saying, the game and the help and all that. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, go to both of those guys' channels. OTG Mechanic and uh, Dasher's Garage, man, and go subscribe to their channels, man, because they both helped me out tremendously on getting this done. It's been a long time coming, and for everybody that has said center my rear wheel, trust me and believe I've been trying to do this for the longest. And y'all seen the struggle that I went through to get this thing done. Um, Dash knows how difficult it was, so. Um, shout out to him for, you know, like I said, helping me out tremendously on this. And, you know, now we can move on to the next thing, man. This Impala is coming together, man. And I couldn't be more happy. Um, like I said, I definitely want to go bigger on the wheel size. Um, I'm waiting for my, uh, my wheel shop. You know what I'm saying? They might have something special. So I was going to go with the, the whips uh, by Wade uh, Forgiatos. I don't think I'm going to go that route no more. It just depends. It depends on, it really depends on this wheel that's going to come out next spring. So, um, we're going to see what, what happens. And then these wheels will go on my C10 and then we'll call it a wrap. Um, we'll just work on the reliability of this car and it'll be all solid. So anyways, man, 
Um, I appreciate everybody that subscribed to the channel. Um, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you get a notification every single time I drop another video. Um, shout out to Tune on 24s. Uh, you won the Flowmaster 44s. I sent you a message on Instagram. So whenever you get back to me with your contact information, I'll go ahead and send those out to you, bro. Um, I appreciate all the love. I appreciate everybody that's commenting and everything like that um, and entered to you know get to the Flowmaster 44s and we'll do another giveaway at 5,000 subscribers. So anyways, let's get to it, man. Um, I appreciate y'all, I appreciate all the love. Um, and always remember, work hard so you can live free.